this is team 7615, Mechanical Mustangs Affirmed, and my name is Paige. I'm the captain of the team. Okay, so my sophomore year, one of the girls who was on the team for robotics was on the volleyball team, and she'd always be telling me, hey, you should come do this, you need to come to the lunch and learns, and then one day she told me that there'd be free food from Taco Cabana, so I came the next day to the lunch and learn, and it was actually really interesting, and there was free food, so it was like a double When I was day. little, I would go around helping my dad or just watching my dad rebuild things, and after a while, it became something that I was really interested in. So going into high school, I was thinking up ideas of classes and or extracurricular activities that could help me showcase and better those skills and robotics was one of the first things that popped into my head. I joined robotics because my sophomore year I transferred to Lutheran High School. I didn't have many friends and the few friends I did have were joining the robotics team. At first I was like, I don't know, not really sure about it. But my chemistry teacher, who was a robotics coach, Mr. Schutze, was like, you should join. And he said that every day until I did join. And because of my friends and Mr. Schutze, I joined. And I am so grateful I did because it's been one of the best experiences of my life. Uh, well, one of my friends like was shadowing the team last year. And so then she said, oh, I don't really just want to be the only new person joining. So I decided to join with her as well. And I knew it would bring new opportunities. So. I've always been interested to see how things work and what does what. So that interest was always there. So I was a junior and a lot of my friends were on the team and I decided that I would join because they finally convinced me and I loved it. It was really, it was awesome. I am like really disappointed in myself kind of that I didn't join as a freshman or I didn't join in middle school because um, my teachers did, the, our coaches had asked me and like said oh you should join and because they really wanted to build up our girls team and I'm really glad that I joined now because it's a really big part of like my high school experience and everything and it's really awesome. So for my whole life my dad has been a worker and I helped him a lot with his building projects and stuff and as a sophomore I saw we had a girls robotics team and I saw that they were building a robot and I said, I can just help with some of that. And so I saw them having fun and I was like, okay, I'm going to join because of that. So I never really had an interest in anything related to robotics, but I knew it looked good on college applications. And so when the coach asked me if I wanted to be a part of the team, I just said yes, not really knowing what I got into, but it's actually really fun and I really enjoy it. I've always been kind of interested in how things work and how to make them work. Um, and the, both of the coaches for the robotics team asked me to join a couple of times throughout my high school experience. And then a couple of the team members also asked me to join. And then from there, I kind of went to a couple of the robotics tournaments just to like test it out. And then I decided that I wanted to do it. My favorite thing about our team is that we are all so different. We all have different ideas and we all have different mindsets, but in the end it all works out and it makes a great team. We all work so well together and it's because we all are so different. We have coders, builders, notebook people, presentation people, but we all come together and build a great robot or code a great robot and make a great team. And that's my favorite part about Team 7615. What I like most about the team is the people for sure because a lot of them well all of them are super nice and always friendly so it's nice to get to talk and share a craft so we have some really amazing underclassmen on our team this year that we just recruited and one of them delaney has taken a really great interest in coding and she's doing an amazing job and then we have danny and rachel who are just really going at it with all the building stuff and it's really great being able to teach them all these things that we've gotten to learn over the years and to allow them to continue this team even though all the seniors will be gone next year. Personally, I love that we're on all girls team. Um, it's it's like a safe space where we can grow in like a male dominated field that isn't something that a lot of other teams have and that's just really special. And it's really good. 
challenging aspect of robotics is my team. Not because I don't like them, not because we don't work well together, but because we are an all-girls team. It has many pros and many cons. We walk into a meet and we're assumed that we don't know what we're doing, or we're assumed that we're the notebook manager for our other team. We've had a team come up to us and say, your coding's wrong, I don't like how it's coded, let me change it for you, because I know you don't know how to change it. Or another team has come up to us, including girls, not just boys, but have been like, are you the notebook manager? Can I talk to someone about that knows about the robot? And assumes that our guys team standing right next to us is the team, not us. So that's one of the most challenging aspects in my opinion, just because we are looked down upon. We're judged when we walk into a meet. I love being an all-girls team. It's amazing, but it does have cons. Well, one of the things that I think was difficult personally for me during robotics was communication, because I was kind of an introvert. And another reason I entered robotics was because I wanted to be more outgoing. And uh, go doing presentations in front of people really helped with my nerves and it helped me not stutter so much and that those are just a couple of things that have helped me out of robotics. One of the most challenging aspects to robotics, uh, for me at least, is the coding, which is my job. So it just, one little mistake can mess up the entire thing. So it's just a little challenging sometimes. One of the most challenging parts of robotics is when on game day, our robot just falls apart. Even when the day before we had everything set and ready, something has to go wrong. And so you have to be able to fix it right away and have the robot work again so you can succeed in the challenge. And another thing that's really difficult, which could lead to a robot falling apart on game day, is a lack of communication, especially um, from my perspective as the head of notebook. It's really important that we all continue to say what we're doing constantly and stay in the loop so things will run smoothly. A valuable experience I've gained from robotics is getting to know some more people better, especially the seniors. Some of them I had never even spoken to, so it was really nice to get to talk to them. I've learned how to collaborate and communicate better with my teammates because you have to know what other people are working on or have worked on in order to know what you can work on. skill I've gained from robotics and utilize often is patience because the coding it never wants to work, so whenever it does work, it's a miracle, and it's given me a lot of patience because little errors always happen. That's bound to happen, so it just gave me a new sense of appreciation for patience. I'm a senior, so looking like in the future, it it has kind of like broadened my view of things that I could go into like career-wise or applying for majors and everything at colleges and stuff and um, it helped me decide to apply for engineering. Um, I just don't know for sure if that's something that I want to do but it is something that I am now more interested in than I would have been before and it kind of gave me a clear path of something to do that I didn't have before because I was really unsure about what I wanted to do and it's kind of given me more of like a more of a certainty than I had before. For me, it was definitely gaining a better confidence talking in front of big groups of people when we would do presentations to a bunch of different companies or groups of kids when we'd go out and connect and share what we did to get ready for our big presentation. Yeah.